Hey guys, this is Catherine from Oracle Intuitions. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is your weekly energy reading for June 1st to the 7th. We're taking a look into the energy of the mind, body and spirit as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. These are going to be general messages, so I also recommend that you check out your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs as well. Also, um, I'm going to be starting a new series sometime this week. It may even be tomorrow or maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, somewhere in there, where we're going to be doing daily messages from Spirit. So these are just going to be quick messages, a quick five, ten minute video maybe that um, I feel drawn to in regards to messages from angels, your spirit guides, spirit animals, whatever seems to be coming through or I'm being called to for that day. So also remember to check out our mini readings. This is our live show on Wednesdays at six o'clock p.m. Mountain Time, where myself and my co-host Brandon Hauser, we do mini readings for um, our subscribers. And on Sundays, join us at 2 o'clock p.m. where we bring on special guests each week. So these are anybody with a spiritual element. They can be um, other readers. They may be Reiki or healing or, you know, some other element of the spiritual realm, I suppose is the best way to describe it. Also, if you're interested in a general reading, you can contact me through oracleintuitions.com or you can message me on my Facebook or my Instagram page. Please make sure you subscribe to my Instagram at oracle underscore intuitions. And um, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your reading and have an amazing week. Take care. Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading for June 1st to the 7th. We're taking a look into the energies of the mind, body, and spirit, as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. Please remember that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone, but I do suggest you taking a look into uh, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs as well. All right, so let's get a look into what is coming forth for Gemini this week. All right, so we have Metatron. We have wisdom for the mind. For the body, we have cleansing. Interesting. And for spirit, we have love. Beautiful energy. So I feel like for some of you, in the mind space here, when we talk about the wisdom with that cleansing with the body or external energies, internal and exterior, and then coming through for with love from uh, Sandalfon, is what I'm getting here is that it feels as though for some of you, there may be um, a time for cleansing, like almost a detox within yourselves, all right? And this can relate to relationships. Maybe perhaps this is relating to world events. You could be looking at things with sort of a negative mind view, but it feels as though, it feels like for some of you, maybe you've done all sorts of research, okay? Especially with that wisdom coming in. It feels like maybe you've been doing research and you know, reading about things, um, going deeper into a problem and it doesn't matter what that problem is or how it's relating to you, whether it's relationships or careers or you know maybe just again just research in general world events of some sort but it feels as though for some of you it's time for a detox time to take a step back and maybe to start looking at things from a different perspective and in the perspective of love okay i, I you know it's interesting because I feel like for some of you, you've been doing like really deep dives into, you know, possibly, you know, the events that are going on right now, or, you know, maybe even past events, maybe there's a distraction that you're trying to remove yourself from, or you're, you know, you're, you're basically distracting yourself from other things. But it feels like a deep cleansing is needed within the mind, body, and soul is what I keep getting. And Sandalfon is coming through with this element of love saying, look it, you know what? It's okay to do this research. It's okay to take a look at things. But maybe it's time just to take a step back and start looking at the world around you with a different perspective. Instead of looking at... Um, you know, and I, I'm even feeling for some of you, this ha could have to do with conspiracy theories or it could have to do with, I get, you know, like I said, world events, or maybe you're hanging on to, you know, events from the past of some sort. And I feel like Sandalfon is really saying, look at, you know what, 
just have a different perspective towards it. Take another look at something. It doesn't mean that you know your research isn't valid. By all means, it probably is. But at the same time, okay, if we're stuck in our mind, we're not allowing, allowing the cleansing of the body in some way. All right, we're not allowing love to come through because we're so caught up in, you know, truth of some sort. And I feel like for some of you, you know, if this is relating to relationships, maybe, you know, you're watching too much um, social media. Okay, a lot of times, you know, if we get into relationships, you know, we can be really involved with social media, like, what are they doing? Um, you know, what's going on? You know, what is it? What are they saying? Who are they liking? All of that stuff. And I feel like for some of you, you could be in that trap. And I feel like Sandalthorn is saying, if you want that love to come through, do that cleansing. Okay, maybe it's time to shut off the computer. Maybe it's time to take a step back from your phone. Maybe it's time to stop watching and just have faith and trust in the universe. You don't need to watch every step of somebody. Same with jobs or careers. You know, um, a lot of times if we're if we're seeking something new, we'll do a lot of research on it or we'll really do a deep dive on it or, you know, we'll start really um, looking into the different aspects of it. And I feel like they're saying, look at, you know what, you don't need all of that. Just go for it. Okay. If your heart is calling it to you, you don't need to come at it from a place of complete wisdom. Okay. It doesn't mean that you have to come in from this place of knowing all. All right. Because when we're knowing all, we're not allowing for the elements of surprise, joy, um, ecstasy to some degree, right? We're, we're in a place of just, you know, looking at it logically and, 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 you know, okay, if they do this, I'm going to do this. Or if, you know, this article says this, so this is the perspective that I'm taking. Like, I just feel it's time to take a step back. Like, I'm actually, it's funny because I actually feel anxious by looking at this. Because I really pick up that energy. And again, it's not going to relate to all of you. But I do feel there's an energy here of just um, staying within the mind instead of enjoying the beauty of the soul or the body or the external circumstances that are going on around us all right go for a walk go look at a bird hug a tree step in the grass feel the grass between your toes like it's time to cleanse out that body mind and soul all right so what's coming through yeah we have the knight of swords it's like charging ahead you know it's interesting because when that knight of swords comes through the Knight of Swords is really somebody who charges ahead, he goes towards his goal, which I do feel is happening within that wisdom. But sometimes the Knight of Swords doesn't take a look around them. All right. They're so focused on what is ahead that they're not looking to the side. Right. He's not paying full attention to, you know, the things that are, you know, uh, on, on each side of him or behind him or, or, you know, above or below. It's like it's just charging forward. And this is what I get with this energy of that wisdom. It's like I've got this goal. I'm just going to charge ahead. I'm going to do all the research. I'm going to search all the social media. Um, I know that they're doing this or I feel like this is going to happen or I feel like, you know, this this theory is is, is reality or whatever it is. And, Again, you know, just take another look. It's time, like they're really saying here, take a step back. Take a look around you. Look at the world as something beautiful. We have this nine of cups coming through. Amazing energy. Because when we cleanse ourselves, what we're really doing is we're allowing our own personal satisfaction, our own personal um, manifestations, our own beautiful energy to come forth. Like look how happy she is. She's done a cleansing. Okay, and this is what I feel is like cleanse out all the negativity or cleanse out all the things that are really not helping you in this present moment. I mean, it's great to research, let's just say, conspiracy theories or things on the internet or world events and all of that. But when we're doing that, we're really not placing ourselves in a, in a present moment. Okay, and so, uh, Raphael is asking you cleanse yourself so that you can be in this present moment and then experience joy at this time we also have this page of cups so this is interesting because we have the love with that page of cups this is new this is new and exciting maybe for some of you like i said you're 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 so into watching social media or you're trying to see if somebody's doing something or if you're trying you're trying to see if there's some sort of energy here of something that you have to be aware of and sandalthorn is just saying why don't you just relax 
relax and let what is supposed to come through come through this is like a brand new energy this is that page of cups going at something coming forth with something with that new and beautiful energy of love and joy and experiencing happiness okay it may be a new feeling towards you or it might be a new feeling for you but they're asking you to just do that cleansing to help you release at this moment all right let's get some more clarification and see what is coming through i almost feel like for some of you like i said you know you might be watching um your person right and or maybe you're paying more attention to the social media and not enjoying life for what it is or maybe you're doing all kinds of research and staying stuck in your head instead of experiencing joy and happiness in this current and pre uh, present moment all right so let's see what other energies are coming in uh everything everything in perfect balance exactly what i was saying have the balance right it, it's okay to do that but when we engulf ourselves into you know things that are like i said i just keep feeling social media for some of you all right when we engulf ourselves in that we're not having that balance of real and present moment enjoyment right to have you have to balance it out protection yeah set set personal boundaries set the personal boundaries within yourself all right here's the thing if you're in a place where you're having to research somebody let's just say okay let's it, let's put this in regards to a romantic situation but you can turn it you know however um it resonates with you but when we're in a place of feeling like we have to protect ourselves by doing all kinds of research or watching somebody on social media or you know, paying attention to their every mood or move or every word or, you know, basically what we, what that's saying is we haven't set up our own personal boundaries. All right. We haven't set up our own personal boundaries to where we're not allowing that personal boundaries. Isn't researching somebody personal boundaries is saying, look at, you know what? I don't feel right about this situation. I'm going to ask you straight out. And if I'm not getting a straight answer in some way, I'm putting up a boundary. All right. It means that we don't have the the strength to come right out and ask somebody possibly. OK, that's what I'm really getting with that. You know, if you're feeling suspicious or if you're feeling, um, you know, let down in some way, set your personal boundary, because once you set that personal boundary, that's where joy comes through. All right, because we're ready to cut something off if it's not resonating with us, but we're also ready to allow it in. All right, because we're in that place of love and experiencing just pure joy in the current moment. And we have Laveria, let love grow. Exactly, let love grow. So look at this, we have Sandalfun, which talks about love, the Page of Cups, which talks about love, Laveria, let love grow. So I feel like for some of you, especially if you're in that place where you find that you're, you're spending all day watching everything on social media, who did they like? What are they doing? Are they online? You know, what, what new, um, what new theory can I explore? Or, you know, maybe you're so focused on the news or current day events or whatever it is. It just feels like it's time to step back. And whether this has to do with, a, you know, another particular person, or maybe it's just love in itself, love the earth, love the grass, love the birds, love the trees, love, you know, love the elements around you experience a new level of joy is what it's saying. Things are going to work out how they're supposed to work out. But if we're sitting there in this place of not allowing ourselves to experience that joy, we're not going to receive that joy. All right. It, it's kind of like, you know what, if we're looking for something negative to find on the internet, we're going to find it. All right. Whatever theory it is that you want to try to prove, you're going to find somebody that is going to support it somewhere. But is that the truth of the situation, no matter what it is? All right. And that's something to really take into, you know, perspective, right? Uh, it, you know, it's kind of like people will say, well, I just know he's cheating on me. I just know he's liking other people. I just know this, or I know, you know, that they're this or that or the other thing. And then they start doing all of this research. Well, maybe, you know what, maybe they are adding people, but 
okay, maybe these are work things. Maybe these are, you know, social contacts that are needed for some sort of career or business or whatever it is. Like, again, you know, if you want to find it, um, you know, you're going to find it. And sometimes in that, in that, uh, that realm of obsessing about it, what we're actually doing is creating it. We're manifesting it. We're bringing it forth. All right. And so that's where we have to take another look. Am I manifesting something that, you know, I don't really want, but I'm so obsessed about it. I can't get it out of my mind. So instead of experiencing this love and joy and allowing, you know, this energy of the sun to come through to re or the nine of cups to really come through where I'm in this place of receiving my wishes, receiving my manifestations. I'm looking at all the things that could possibly go wrong instead of looking at all of the things that could go right. All right. And, and again, you know, if, if you're so worried about it, then it's time to really set up those personal boundaries. We have to put those. And, and when I talk about personal boundaries, it doesn't talk about walls. It doesn't mean, well, you know, you did this last week. So, um, you liked somebody's profile picture. So that's a boundary. You can't like anybody's pictures. No, that's ridiculous. Okay. We're talking about personal boundaries within yourself where you say, you know what? I haven't heard from this person in, you know, two weeks. That's a boundary. That's a big boundary. You know, somebody ghosts me. That's a boundary. I don't tolerate that crap. So I'm just going to let it go. Let them go. Move on. Next. Whatever it is. Okay. So instead of obsessing or, or watching or, or whatever it is, put up that boundary and say, no, this is, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable behavior. I'm moving on. All right. So this is what I'm getting. Everything is in perfect balance. Okay. Everything in perfect balance. Balance your emotions. Balance your thoughts. Balance the energies that you're putting out at this time. It's good to have that wisdom. Okay. It's good to, you know, have that feeling of, well, I want to be aware of things. I don't want to be one of those people who's tricked or, you know, um, with a wool pulled over my eyes. That's great. You know, that's a personal boundary. But it doesn't mean that you need to embrace or immerse yourself into waiting for, you know, this, this thing to come through, right? In the meantime, experience love in that present moment. Do the cleansing that will help bring about that nine of cups energy, the joy, the happiness, your wishes coming true. So let's take a look at relationships for this upcoming week and see what we're getting. Remember that relationships do not need to be romantic. They can be friends, family, and co-workers. Just take them as they resonate for you. All right, let's see what is coming forth. All right. Relationships. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take beautiful energy because I really feel and again take it as it resonates I really feel that for some of you you know instead of the watching and waiting for possibly a mistake why don't not make the effort to make things right however that is and if you're making that effort and you're still not receiving um, what it is that is that fulfillment within the relationship then stop putting in that effort Okay, maybe that's that sign to take that step back and make the effort towards something else or towards yourself, right? Yeah, look at this deception. Someone is wearing a fake, uh, or wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So maybe that's what you're concerned about. For some of you, that might be validation. Okay, maybe that's right there is the validation that you've been waiting for because you've seen the signs. Maybe their behavior is in a way that's being deceptive. And, you know, so you're doing all this watching and scrolling and, you know, obsessing about different things instead of being in that joy of going, look at, I already know, I already know what I know, right? When somebody behaves this way, this is pretty, you know, telltaling or telltaling of what it is that they're doing. All right. So I already see the deception. I don't need to sit here and waste more time doing the research or the looking or whatever it is. I'm either going to ask them straight out or I'm just going to walk away. That's your choice to do, right? 
But this deception could also be within yourself. Are you deceiving yourself out of the pleasure of a relationship or a pure relationship because of the fact that you're waiting for something to go wrong within something? Something to think about, right? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ than the usual type and expectations. So what I get with that is, again, for some of you, all right, are you deceiving yourself? Are you deceiving yourself in that energy of not keeping that open mind? If you, you know, here's the thing. We always hear those stories where something came right out of the blue and you didn't completely expect it or anything like that. And that does happen. But more often than not, there's red flags, right? We know that, you know, somebody doesn't leave us ghosted for weeks on end if, if they're interested, okay? You know, without saying a word, they don't just disappear if, if somebody's interested. That's fact. Okay, so if somebody's giving you that energy, are you in a place of self-deception saying, oh no, they'll come back. I have to watch every move. I know that they're going to be coming back. I know this. I know that. We already know the truth. All right. We already know the truth. So just take a step back. You don't need to accuse. You don't need to do anything. Just walk away. But keep an open mind because not everything is as it appears. And I feel like this is a very important um, aspect to bring forth within this, re within this reading. I feel like keep an open mind. Not everything is as it appears, whether it's on the internet or whether this is, you know, somebody's behavior, or whether somebody's actions, how do we do it? We have to make that effort and maybe perhaps even ask what is going on. If you're feeling guided toward asking somebody what the heck is going on or, you know, what are, you know, what is happening within this situation, by all means do so, but do so in the place that you're also open to the cleansing properties that this is going to bring forth. All right. Don't be in that place of self-deception or, you know, self, um, self-sabotage where you're going to put blame upon yourself or, or whatever it is, because they're really asking you here to do that cleansing. Maybe now is the time to do that cleansing, where it's, whether it's cleansing yourself, cleansing a relationship, cleansing, you know, um, some other aspect of the situation, however it is, but it's also time to let that love grow. Let love grow within yourself or towards others. All right. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind right now. If it's not this person, spirit will bring forth something new. Okay. Something when we've done that cleansing, we're allowing ourselves to release all those negative toxins that we've carried from past energy, right? We don't need them. We can allow love in. And that's what Spirit's asking of us. Allow love in. In whatever shape or form that it's going to come in. All right. So let's get some clarification. Trust. Look at this. Trust. Trust the universe. Trust yourself. Maybe, for some of you, trust your person. Okay? Trust your person. Especially if you're sitting there and you're spending all your time, you know, trying to find ways that they've deceived you or, you know, to see if they are deceiving you or whatever it is. Maybe it's time to just have some bloody trust, right? And, and be in that place of saying, okay, I don't, I don't need to be wasting all my time like this. It's time to do that cleansing, time to do that detox and just allow that love to grow, that love to show itself. We also have liberation. Look at that. When you do that, you're liberated, right? Because you're allowing spirit to bring forth what it, what it is that you need, but you're also liberating yourself from being trapped, you know, or, or, or entangled onto a computer or a cell phone or, you know, whatever it is, or being in this place within your mind where you're upset or hurt or scared or, or whatever it is, it, it's bringing in a new sense of this wisdom that it's talking about when we liberate Okay, it's a different form of wisdom. It's that form of, you know, wisdom where we're basically bringing in a better sense of balance to ourselves. We're setting those personal boundaries, but we're also allowing love to come forth. All right, it's liberating. It's liberating to take a step back and just saying, okay, I surrender. I surrender to this energy. I surrender to trust. 
you know, I surrender to just, you know, feeling free within myself and just, you know, if something's going to happen, it's going to happen, but I don't need to sit here in this place of worry and fret and fear, right? I cannot make this up, guys. Cannot make this up. Surrender. So I think we're going to leave relationships at that because spirit is asking you to surrender, Surrender at this time. Surrender to whatever it is that is going to help liberation within yourself and trust. Okay? Trust in spirit. Trust within yourself. If you need to set up stronger boundaries, by all means, by all means do so. If that will help you feel liberated, absolutely you should be setting those up. But for right now, surrender. What an amazing energy. So let's get some closing messages from spirit and see what is coming through. Closing messages from Spirit for Gemini for June 1st to the 7th. Or Orenda? Yeah. Honor your mystical creative force. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I feel like through cleansing, your personal cleansing, this is how you help create that. And it also talks about sacrifice. What can you let go of? What can you let go of to bring about that liberation? What can you let go of to honor yourself? To honor yourself, okay? Because when we're placed in that fear or, you know, like I said, fret and worry or where we have to watch every movement of somebody or, you know, whatever it is, whatever energy is, is coming forth, liberate it, okay? What can you let go of? Do you need to be trapped? Do you need to be entangled in these thoughts and these worries and these fears? No, liberate yourself and enjoy love. Let that love come in and let that love grow. All right. So Gemini, I truly hope that this reading has helped. Uh, please click like, please click uh, subscribe. And by all means, please share the video, comment down below if this reading did resonate with you. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing week and many blessings.